Hello, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a fire effect. So the first step is to download the footage. You can treat your own footage, but I prefer to download my footage from Pixabay. It's a free stock footage website that's really good. You can download any sort of stock footage on there. I searched for man thoughtful and download this um, footage of a man just sitting on a tree. It's really calm and peaceful, which will not be the final result, I'm sure. I just downloaded that footage really easily, and then I went to DaVinci Resolve. So this is the project file on how I did the paint out. So first I used the paint node to paint out the man, it was pretty easy actually, I just used a clone uh, brush. I'm gonna leave a better tutorial on how to do that in the description. After I painted the man out, I added some grass elements. So I rendered um, grass in Blender. So I downloaded grass assets from Megascans and I rendered them with a transparent background. So I just plopped them here so it covers up the very bad transition. So after I did that, I pre-composed it and I sent it to the main composition, I guess. So I just added a gas mask logo, set that blending mode to overlay. Um, add an ellipse mask, glow, fire element, bam. I just placed them all around the scene. Uh, it's just scattering different fire elements and, you know, changing the time so it doesn't look like they're all the same element. And then, after that, it's basically, we're almost done. We just need to add some embers and some fog. Embers and fog will always make any scene look better, with fire in it especially. And we're going to get into how we did the digital lighting. So, for the digital lighting, what I did is I drew masks for what I wanted the digital lighting to be. So near the fire, on the trees and stuff. So I combined them together and I feathered them a bunch. Used a noise texture, used that uh, mask as the alpha mat for the noise texture. You can change the contrast and stuff, but I didn't want it to be too noticeable. I just wanted it to be just sort of there uh, and in the background. Merge that together with the orange fiery colored background and we're basically done and I also added some film grain So now I rendered that out and uh, This is the color grading page where I did the colors So I added the king standard a lot. It was a little too green for me. So I uh, added some red to the highlights and some blue to the shadows um, to make it look better uh, I kind of wanted to make the red and blues a little more, you know, contrasty, but I thought it would look way too contrasted. I still wanted to give it a natural look. So, yeah, that's basically uh, the color grading. After that, we have the sound design. So, I rendered that out again as a MP4 and no compression. And then I imported that into a new timeline in a new DaVinci Resolve projects file. And there I won't go into, much, into too much detail, but I added the cinematic bars, which I removed, by the way. First time ever, I did not go with 21 by 9 aspect ratio. It covered up way too much of the, the bottom and the top. I added some, uh, what do we call it, camera shake and the edit page, and I added the sound effects. And that's basically it. Thanks for watching.